I bet with cold, cold afternoons like this, it's kind of wish you were, you're kind of glad you're injured. I know, yeah, it's one of them, it's one of them games where you can sit inside and watch the game. Uh, no, I just, I wish I were playing. You know, it's freezing, but I've been out so long now. I just wish, uh, I just want to get back now and start playing and hopefully, you know, help the team get a few wins and climb up the table. I bet you were gutted to miss the uh, the cup, cup win the other week. I was, yeah, I was gutted. I was watching it, obviously. You know, the lads were brilliant. Uh, you know, they didn't even need me, <laughs> which is which is bad, in, you know, in, in a sense, really. But, uh, no, I was just glad for the whole team and the club because, um, you know, it was a massive victory. And it was great, great for the players to be, obviously be on TV. And the, um, you know, they... They never even looked like losing the game. You know, the the, the other team, the other team got battered. Um, so it, you know, it was brilliant. It set up a brilliant tie for the third, for the for the next round. Yeah, massive occasion. The next game coming out. Do you reckon you're going to be back in time for that? What are you thinking? Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm hoping to be training on Tuesday and then try and get a game on Saturday, and then hopefully I'll be uh, I'll be ready for the second round. Even if it's just coming on for five minutes or something, you know, maybe I can try and nick a goal to win us the game, or yeah. you know, see the game out, whatever. I, you know, I just want to be involved. How buzzing would you be to get through to the third round? You know, all the big guns, big guns in there. Oh, it'd be massive. Imagine, imagine if we won and then you know we got through to the third round and we drew. Obviously, you know, Man United or some, something like that at Old Trafford. You know, it's what it's what you become a footballer for. You know, them them kind of dreams and aspirations and. You know, and we, you know, we we are potentially only one game away from that. How how much confidence does a league, does a win over a league team like County give you? Yeah, it gives us massive confidence. You know, we we obviously we were massive underdogs, and then uh, you know they they came along and they didn't even look like scoring. They didn't look like winning. You know, we we were the far better team, and I think that's you know that'll give us massive confidence now to to try and concentrate on the league, um, try try and win the league and then obviously you know when Hartlepool come you know they're in the same same position as Notts County were so you know it gives us massive confidence to turn them over as well yeah um how much how do you think the uh, cup run affects like uh, your league form I mean fourth in the table now do you think do you think it's a distraction or I think sometimes it can be you know because um you know there's sometimes like a backlog of games but because we've been winning and and because of all the the publicity, you know, it's, it's give all the players and the club a, like, a massive confidence boost. So, I think it'll help us uh, go, going up the league. Um, and I think, you know, I think obviously, you know, we're not we're not going to win the FA Cup. You know, we know that. But if we can play maybe one or two more games, um, you know, and then you know we 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 get a brilliant result maybe in the next round. You know, it can only um, help us in the league. Yeah, the publicity about the place seems to be going up well with the the documentary, and of course the the cut runs doing do well. Um, how how well do you think um, this is going to be established? You know, say if you get promoted, do you think it's going to be so well? Do you think it's going to establish itself well in high leagues? I think so. Yeah, you know, I think that's the the aim of the owners and the the aim of the club. You know, we've got like uh, a ten year plan, and we're hoping to obviously win the leagues, uh, move further up, and I think. You know, we are we are potentially hoping to be a league club. You know, I think the um, they set like a design to, to win promotion every two years. Um, you know, we're obviously ahead of schedule. You know, because we won the league in the first year, and if we can win the league again, you know, that's two promotions in two years. And you know, you never know that ten year plan might be a five year plan. You know, you never know. You know, we could be in the, in, in the second division. How massive is is it for you to have owners like? class and I too, you know, <laughs> how, how big is it? Yeah, it's amazing, you know, just to, just to be involved with them guys, you know, they, they were my heroes growing up, um, so, you know, just to look over on the sideline and, and in training and, you know, just see that they're watching you, you know, and, and get get advice if things are going wrong, you know, things like that are massive um, and, it, you know, it's inspirational for all the players.